Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. And this is question number six from the specimen paper of Cambridge Pure Mathematics 1 um, 9709 paper 1 syllabus. And this question here is about binomial expansion. And in paper 1, uh, in Pure Mathematics 1, we only deal with binomial expansion where we have a positive integer power. And here they're asking us to find the coefficients of x squared and x cubed in the expansion of this bracket. So we've got to expand this up to x squared and x cubed. And of course, uh, we're going to use the formula from the formula book. And the formula, if you go to the formula book, you'll find this binomial series and this is what we, we're going to be using here. We don't need to worry about the questions which deal with negative or fractional powers. Okay, this formula here or this, this particular thing will only work when we're dealing with positive integers. For dealing with negative integers or dealing with fractional powers, non-integer powers, we have to use another formula which um, is relevant to P3. So we're not going to explain that right here. So here, this is basically using what's called the NCR button on your calculator to find the coefficients. Now we want to find the coefficients of x squared and x cubed. Okay, now um, using this is okay, but I prefer, I mean, I don't. we don't really need to look at this to be honest. I'll just show you how to do this without even looking at this particular formula sheet. Uh, the formula sheets it's very easy what to do right that might even in fact confuse you more so i'm going to get rid of that but what i'm going to write is something which is it's basically the same thing but just um i think it's a much easier way of doing it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put um th three pairs of brackets here and i'm going to show you this from the beginning and then i'm going to show you how we can just get to what we need um, immediately without having to write them them out right so I'm going to start off with these three brackets. Now what I'll do is, in the first bracket, I write the highest power, which is 6, and 0. 6 is 0. That's NCR. That will tell us the main coefficient for this expansion. And then in the second bracket, I'm going to write the term that we see here in the first part of the bracket. And the second bracket here, I'm going to write the second term, including its sign, so minus x. And then what I'm going to do is, because we want to find the expansions of x squared and x cubed, I'm going to show you how this works if you were, for, for example, going to expand all of it. And then you will understand what to do how, uh, to find x squared and x cubed coefficients easily. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about as if we, we're going to start from, from scratch. Okay, so what, we do, what we've done, what we're going to do eventually in the end, I'll show you how to come to this straight away what to write in these places and get the answer immediately. I'm going to show you how this builds up so we can understand what's going on. So I'm going to start with 6, 0. And what's going to happen here is if I'm saying, if supposing I want to write in ascending powers of x, I'll put 0 here and 6 there. Okay, that will give me the coefficient of x to the power of 0, which is the constant beginning of the thing. And it will end up with being 2 to the power of 6, as we'll see. And... Then I just write these three brackets again. And I have 2 here and minus x here as before. But now this is going to become 6, 1. And what happens here is this power reduces by 1 and this one increases by 1. Okay, and then I keep going. This is 6, 2. And this power, it decreases by 1 and this one increases by 1. Now we can see here that this is what's going to give us the x squared term. So this is what I'm going to focus on. Uh, as well as the next one, which will be 6, 3, and this decreases by 1, and this increases by 1, so this will be, you know, the x, x cubed. So basically, I can get to the coefficients I need just by looking at these two, right? So, sorry, this decreases by 1, so this is going to be a 3, not a 4. What am I doing? That's going to be a 3. Okay, so you end up with this, right? So... These are the two lines that I need to look at to answer this question. If it said find the first four terms in ascending powers of x, for example, then I would, you know, have, write down all of these and put the answer down. Okay, and 
but this question is only asking us to find the coefficients of x squared and x cubed in the expansion of this. All right? So I'm just going to do with those two. Now I could have written this down immediately from the beginning. Okay? Like if I did this right from the beginning, I would have had my three brackets and I would put minus x here and two here and six here. Then I'll say, okay, I want the x squared coefficient. So there has to be a two here. And what you'll notice is these two numbers always add up to the same as that. So you have 6 plus 0 is 6, 5 plus 1 is 6, 4 plus 2 is 6, 3 plus 3 is 6. So I know therefore that over here must be a 4. Okay, and if there's a 4 here, there must be, um, well, this can be either 2 or 4. But I'll put 2 here, right? Okay, it can be either one of these two numbers. 6C2 six, six and 6C4 will be the same. So it doesn't really matter if I put 6, 4 or 6, 2. It'll give me the same answer for this particular thing here. And that will give you my x squared coefficient. And for the x cubed coefficient, similarly, I'll, I'll have 6, 2, and minus x. I want x cubed, so that's going to be a 3. 3 plus 3 is 6, so there must be a 3 here. And there, therefore, there must be a 3 here as well. And that, as you can see, is the same as this. So without having to write these first two, I can come to this straight away. But to understand why, you have to understand how this builds up. So for those of you um, who did not you know, learn the topic that well, that's exactly what we have to do. So I'm not going to bother answering these two parts or finding what these two are. I'm going to worry about these two. So how do I deal with this? Well, 6, 2. How do I work that out? Well, we take our calculator and we use this button here, which is called the NCR button. This is called the NCR button. Let me put it over here so we can see what's going on. So the NCR button is over here, which is just above the division sign. So I want to do, find 6, C, 2. So I press 6, then I press Shift, then I press this button. See, C comes 2, and that will give me 15. So this is 15 times 2 to the power of 4, which is 16, times minus x all squared, which is x squared. So I end up with 15 times 16 x squared. Okay, so 15 times 16, which is going to give me 240 x squared. So that's the x term, uh, x squared term, and the x cubed term, I'll use 6c3. So I, I can go back to this and change this for a for a 3. That gives me 20 times 8 times minus x cubed. So end up with minus 160 x cubed. So the question says find the coefficients of x squared and x cubed. So don't leave your answer like this. You can say the coefficient of x squared is 240. The coefficient of x cubed is minus 160. Don't write the x squared and x cubed with this because that will be the, this is the x squared term and this is the x cubed term. But this is the x cubed, x squared coefficient. This is the x cubed coefficient. It means the number that's multiplying the x squared and the x cubed. Don't write it with the x squared. Write them separately. So those are the answers for question six, part A. The coefficients of x squared and x cubed in this expansion. Okay, so there's the answer to part A. Now for part B. It says, hence find the coefficient of x squared, x cubed, sorry, in the expansion of 3x plus 1 times 2 minus x to the power of 6. Okay, so now we have 3x plus 1 times 2 minus x to the power of 6. So if you were to write this out in full, this would be something times, if you were to expand this, what you we want, we're only concerned about the x cubed term. So when I multiply the 3x by the constant term, that one, there's going to be, there's going to be let's, let's say, ax to the power of 6. All right? I know it's going to be, sorry, there's going to be, let's start, let's start with the, the uh, lowest. It's going to start with 2 to the power of 6, which we know is, is 64, so that, that's fine. We can, work, we can write that down, but we don't even have to. I can call it a. That's, that term is not going to, be co going to be concerning me, because when I expand this bracket with that, this is going to give me an x term, and that's going to give me a constant term. So even the, the term in x, I don't need. So let's call it bx. I don't, need, I don't need this term, because that's going to give me the x squared term. I'm looking for the x cubed term. What is going to concern me is what the x cubed term was, and that was plus, sorry, the x squared term, that's 240x squared. So we already worked out that's 240x squared. And also, because that, that multiplied by that will give me an x cubed term. And of course, the other thing that's going to concern me is the x cubed term, which is minus 160x cubed. Minus 160x cubed. 
because one times that is going to give me x cubed. And when I do 3x times 240x squared, that's going to give me an x cubed term. When I do 1 times minus 160x cubed, will also be an x cubed term. I don't need the x to the power 4, x to the power 5, x to the power 6 terms. Why? Because they're going to give me, you know, terms which are from x to the power 4 onwards. I'm only concerned with the coefficient of x cubed. So I don't have to do the whole expansion. I just have to think about what's going to give me x cubed. And it's going to be 3x times 240x squared. So 3x times 240x squared, that's going to give me one of the x cubed terms. So 3 times 240, that's 720x cubed. And also when I do 1 times minus 160x cubed. So 1 times minus 60x cubed, of course that's minus 160x cubed. So if I add these together... I'm going to get my term that I'm looking for. So it's 720 minus 160. And that gives us 560x cubed. So it says find the coefficient of x cubed. So therefore, we say the coefficient of x cubed is 560. There's the answer. Okay, we don't write it with the x cubed. We just write it as, as the coefficient. And that's part B, and I think that's the end of this question. Yes, that's part B. Okay, so that wraps up question number um, six, I think. Yeah, number six. Other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will be appearing in this region over here. Other questions which are dealing with pure mathematics one um, from Cambridge, binomial expansion, can be found in the playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and you can watch the video over here which will explain how you can use my channel to find what you're looking for. Thank you for watching and see you soon.